Welcome to A Little Sketchy. I brought together a team of six sketchers here to make hilarious comic sketches just for you viewers at home. That's right, we're gonna bring comedy to your town! And the first sketch of the night will be... Nilliam's Audition! <laughs> Don't fret, Nilliam. I'm sure you'll pass this audition. Dr. Mezzanine is very reasonable. Ian! Mama, ma? Ian! Get out of my office! Do you call that theater? <laughs> nice. Nilliam! Thank you for coming in. This headshot is a quarter inch off from the required dimensions. You think I can use this? So, um, what monologue have you been playing tonight? So, it's from this play. You've probably never heard of it. It's called Hamlet. Obscure! Nilium, are you stupid? Do you need mental help? I mean, you're either a complete theater virgin or you're infernally stupid. What is well known to you? Um, I, I was trying to be joking. That was so unclear though. And what do you think you're doing? I mean, this is an audition, you faboon. I thought I would be memorable. Memorably bad, but you know, I'm in a good mood. So go on, show us your, uh, show me your dance routine. But that was never in the materials. Yes, it was, you atom brain fool. Um... Uh. Uh. <laughs> sorry, I can do it again. Again, never say sorry during an audition. So you think it's not bad? Because I thought that job was a little too much. Oh yeah, it's okay. For an infant, so it's not okay. No! Now what song have you prepared? You know, I think this audition was pretty bad. I'm not gonna put you through any more of this. No! Finish the audition. Uh, um, okay. Get to the part or die. Well, so, um, there's this great tune from the DeWolf Stop Library that I'd like to do. Um. Oh, it's not for a musical. I'll kill you! No, 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 no. You kids have to work out more. Due to whippiness, you guys have to do 10 hundred more push-ups. Now! Sir, yes, sir! Oh, this again. You have never learned. Okay. So don't do anything. Excuse me, is this where Coach Cromway teaches? Yes, it is. I'm Coach Cromway. Now what do you want? Well, you haven't paid your rent for the past few years, so you can't hold your classes anymore. What? But I had to give him the track, and I have to hold this class in this stupid Woodkill server room. Damn those theater art kids who are always taking money, and they had to like sell off the track for the stupid musical. What was it even about? Who are you to decide that? I'm Rick Estate. I own all of the land in this little sketchy town, including the Windham server room. You can't do this. These kids, they're relying on me to teach them the ways of how to be a jock. Well, I wouldn't say rely on you based on how we're being forced by our parents to participate in this, but, uh, okay. Are you alright? You know, I'm um, just talking about Sorry, but no one even no plays. No! I'm sorry, kids. I failed you. I'm no longer worried to be your coach, even if you guys are a bunch of fool moms. 
We gotta do something. We really have to? Of course we do. He's our coach. What do you, what do you propose? I don't know. Um, do I look like I know how to make the coach feel better? Yes. I guess we could raise money. A hundred thousand sketchy bucks? How are we gonna give that much money? I mean, we can just like ask a random rich guy and be like that sketchy guy who's in town. We can beat the money out of well, I guess it's worth a shot. You're crazier. Ah! This stupid $10 million game, and I can't even get past the first level. That's stupid. What's the point of playing for the, the paying for this thing? What do you three kids want? Okay, so. Uh, so I think there's corner room, and it's like, you really need to get the track right this time. It's not the case. I know it's a thing. And that's why it's like a super tunnel. And those computer kids are taking all my money. Among Us, this toggle looks so hard to operate. Ugh, they must have like updated or something. That's stupid. Maybe I should buy the company from them, or visit the game. Do you buy the game from the company or the company from the game? Hey, Susan, do you buy the game from the company or the company from the game? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? That's stupid. <laughs> Kids better. That was so moving. Your story brought me to tears. Here, have all the money you want. You think the cost to rent a car would cover it? Um. Okay then, let's start small and we'll make that one billion dollars. Save your gym class, become jocks, do what you want in life. Here, it's all yours. And we're back with some of the sketches. You <laughs> okay. Fine! Now where were we? <laughs> I think you need to see a doctor. Ho ho ho! See a doctor? I'm fine. You see, if my body is sick, I'll just say to it, No body! You're lying to me! That's wrong, you dumb body! And that's why I've never taken a sick day on anything since pre-COVID. So there were times you were sick and you did school and filming anyways? Correct, Amondo! They don't call me a super spreader S. Lebowski for nothing. Now can I get back to the show? I suppose it's not that bad. That's right, it isn't. And the next sketch <laughs> will be... Newsies News Network! <laughs> and we're on with Newsies News Network. I'm your lead anchor, and this is my co-anchor, Dick Johnson. Thanks, Newsy. This just in. After 13 episodes, a little sketchy is running out of ideas and is finally ripping off Weekend Update. Now isn't that something? In other news, scientists go into a panic after a small Wyoming town reports it's raining cats and dogs. Now frankly, Dick, I think this is all a real scam because everyone knows Wyoming doesn't exist. Uh, you've got a point there. In politics, President The Stone has reportedly punched the Prime Minister of Newtopia, mistaking a cultural greeting for a fighting gesture. Reportedly, average reported grades in the school district have increased 20% after the implementation of a new system where grades are out of 120%. So how does that affect the letter grading system? Instead of shifting existing grades up and adding two at the bottom, the sketchy school is going with the tire list mentioned above, going with an S grade above A and an SSSS grade at the top. Update on Officer Correct's undercover stint in Lexington. The Lexington bandit is still at large, but Correct has taken a break to take advantage of everyone's richness. A new report shows a correlation between planting trees and oxygen development. Here to share more is Atticus Fatolman. Thank you, Newsy. So this report is very accurate. It's actually sourced from a third grade classroom because this is incredibly basic information. So, Fatolman, is it true that you have an illegitimate child? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Our sources have discovered a young whippersnapper named Frederickie who likes nature just as much as you, and his mother claims she is owed child support by a well-known individual. But you see, Newsy, child support does not come from nature. Therefore, I don't have to pay it. Oh, and he hung up. Well, if Newsy can't keep a good story, then I guess he just can't keep a call. <laughs> what do you say about me? Just banter, Newsy. This just in, Dick Johnson can go jump in a hole. This just in, Newsy just made a new enemy. 
Breaking news. Local man wins the world record for being the most infernally stupid on earth. His name, Richard F. Johnson. This just in, scientists are using Newsy's bad quips as alternative energy. Polls report that 100% of people aren't fond of Dick Johnson. According to sources, your mom would beg to differ. Did you just make a your mom joke on live television? This just did. I think we should stop. Sources say I agree. It's run its course. In other news, the Triple N News team, with the help of some little sketchy ape talent, is on the hunt to get some paparazzi photos of Spencer. Since no one has seen his face on a little sketchy, here's a live broadcast from the search. And we're here at Newsy's News Network to on the hunt for Spencer. Hey look, it's a person. Could he be Spencer? I think that's the one about the ones. That's tough for you. Look, people! Hey, are any of you two Spencer? No, we're just sketchers playing Among Us because yeah. Mr. Slabowski has forced us to like come to this building and we really don't want to go, so yeah. You're buffoons. Ugh. <laughs> Let's keep searching. <laughs> Maybe Spencer's in the kitchen. He always loves to eat, even though I've never seen him eat food. That's just an assumption I made. Are you in here? I don't think he is. Let's keep going. Spencer always loves to recycle. Maybe he's hiding with his bread. Nothing here. Hmm. Hey, I've never seen these private um, conference rooms. Oh, oh! There's someone in there. Um, and it's not Spencer. Oh my god, maybe Spencer's in one of these pictures. This looks like a Spencer original. I think he took this picture. No? No. There's not that signature splash of red paint, which I'm pretty sure is blood. Spencer could be watching us through some of those. Who knows, maybe he's laughing his head off right now. Hey, are you Spencer? Are you Spencer? Hey, where's he going? You're, you're such a bad cinematographer. I'm you're, trying! You're not following me fast enough. We lost the perp. Hey, there's the perp. <laughs> are you Spencer or are you Miss Rur? Are you Spencer? Do I look like I'm Spencer? He's not Spencer, guys. God damn it. Why are you back here again? Go away. I just wanted a cup of water. <laughs> and that looks like time is up for the search for Spencer. We'll be back next week, hopefully, to find the Spencer. <laughs> oh, and they still couldn't find him. What a shame, Newsy. But you know what isn't a shame? What is it, Dick? The fact that we've got an interview from Jimothy Johnson. And there he is now. Now? Now? Oh, there he goes. Yeah. No, wait, he is incredibly clumsy. I'm okay. I'm... Don't worry, Jimothy. How about you? Get back yeah. up there. Right. Okay. And I trust that you'll make it this time. Uh, so, Jimothy. Uh, oh my god. This yeah. guy's so clumsy. Yeah, no, wait, he's, wait. He's, okay. okay. Okay, so. You good? You good? You okay, situated? Okay, you're good. Probably. So, Probably. Jimothy. Um, what would you, you're here because you want to give a message to other people who um, suffer from the disease called clumsiness. Um, what do you have to say about that? Not like uh, you're going to fall off your chair right now, right? <laughs> Be very careful. And also, it's still going to happen. Just try to make sure you can minimize the impact. Now, how do you go about doing that? Uh, learning how to fall better. Oh, 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 like in karate. We like, have like, like how, um, balls. like, that's how you fell. That's a, that's a good fall, right? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, like any martial arts. So I want you to demonstrate to the camera yeah. the, um, the steps yeah. to a good fall. What are the core steps? So, this is how you fall correctly. Oh, huh, pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah. I, I, I like that. I, I might All even right. try that myself. So, tell us about your childhood. How does it feel to be, like, the only person in your family that Woo! falls off? Like, your father does skydiving, your mother does rock climbing, even your baby brother does, like, what does your baby brother do again? Fishing. Fishing. Competitively. Competitively. I mean, that's tough, you know? Yeah, there that, are lots really of sharks tough. in the ocean. So, how does it feel to be the only unathletic person in your family? Not that good. Oh. Well. Although, hey, I'm the best at learning how to survive a fall. Mm, yeah. yeah. If only there was a sport for people who fell. You know what? They might add that in the Olympics. Yeah. Falling? Yeah. I mean, Mitch McConnell's popularized it pretty well. Yeah, yeah, he kind of has. 
Okay. okay. Well, well, the, well um, I feel like you should probably um, get back home so you won't fall as much. I mean, how do you deal with falling? Nah, it hurts a lot. All right. Okay, so you Do you have like, any preventative measures to fall? Like, is your room just... My entire house is filled with pillows. Oh, that's nice. Oh. I, might, I might even do that. I think that's a good thing. Wait, wait how much did it cost you? Only like $2,000. Have you ever thought of that's making kind of a lifestyle expensive. Instagram account? I mean, $2, that house remodeling would be great for HGTV. Like, that's it what I earn every that. 10 years. The... Hmm? $2,000, that's what I earn every 10 years. I think I might need to get a better job. I think you're poor. Yeah. Hey, you are like half as what I earned, so... And I know that because I pay you. Yeah, because you're the boss, Newsy. Yeah. I'm just Dick Johnson. Yeah. One Come story on, at a time. Me. Why am I paying you? You're our guest. Yeah, you're yeah, our guest. Yeah, I should be paid then. You're we'll benefiting. You the no, we'll, we'll give you a little certificate. And we're back with Lushkersha. <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god, I'm calling a doctor! Don't you dare! I'm fine. If it's not gonna kill me, I'm okay. But it might! Okay, please. The worst thing that's happened to me was a giant infection on my toe. Sure, it turned green, but I didn't die. So it's okay. Oh, that's stupid. Spencer, tell me he needs to call a doctor. Spencer, I don't know your last name the third! You wouldn't dare! Well then, just stand up. <laughs> just like the real Slim Shady. <laughs> 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 Worth it. Okay, that's it. I'm taking you to a doctor. Here at Wincam, we are some public domain gems. A little sketchy as cutting broadcast to bring to you Horror in Studio A, a 1950s B movie noir film which becomes a sci fi halfway through, because of course it does. This is Zach Warner here. Before you watch this film, beware. This picture is very terrifying and dangerous to the use of the nation. It can give young people certain ideas about things like human rights and ethical science. If you are watching this film, you must be of marrying age. And if you are a youth, turn off your TV set now. This may be too much for you. You saw the intro, some disturbing stuff. Okay, have you gone yet? Here's something to get you out of here. Tax forms, adulting, legal drinking. Okay, Spencer, roll the picture. It was a long night, waiting for a lead on all this crime. Gosh darn it, where's Big Joey? You called? Why have the most popular youths in this town been disappearing? Eh, hey, fool, my god, you know I don't know nothing about that. Golly gee willikers! I don't want any excuses. I need answers for the youths. You know, you can't lie to me about what your mom's doing. I can trace your tax evasion reports and show the police the evidence. They're all corrupt. Dread it. <laughs> Listen, Ford, it ain't the mob causing all this crime. It's the teenagers. They're always hanging out at the sawcoffs, scaring all, scaring all the adults, those cool cats, with their free speech and whatnot. That's true. Teenagers are terrifying. But, so is crime. I ain't telling you nothing. You don't have to. Give it back! Give it! Give it back! Not until you tell me who you're working with. Okay, come with me. There's this place called Studio A. <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that? 
I'm telling the truth. You never let them take you to a second location. That's when you're being kidnapped, Puzzlehead. So his name is Dr. Screwloose. He's a bit of a whack dog and quite a klutz, but he uses science to help us with our projects. <laughs> Stop right there. Jeepers, it's Detective Ford. Dr. Screwloose, what's going on here? As you can see, I'm setting up my experiments to do some science. You see, Detective Ford, I'm the one who kidnapped those local youths to use as test subjects for my mad scientist experiments. But why would you kidnap those teenagers? Teenagers are the scum of the earth, Detective. They are delinquents who destroy public property. And they scare Effie with their music and partying. I was generally okay with this until they destroyed my laboratory. To get my revenge, I'm kidnapping local youths to use as test subjects for my monster serum. <laughs> so that's what's parents doing. Well, not exactly. You see, this meddling kid tried to stop me when she found out I kidnapped her boyfriend, Terry. She was actually going over there to break up with him, but like, the whole mad scientist thing, it was like kind of distracting. So now I have to kill her, because like, no witnesses. Wait, I'm a witness too. ha! <laughs> Big Joe, what are you doing here? Sorry, detective. I'm in on this operation as well. No! Ha ha! Rise my creation! Wait, what are you doing? Ah! Ah, no! That's my blood and guts! Jesus, please don't steal your way! Check, 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 check. We're on in five. What the day is that? Jeepers! It must be Dr. Screwloose's experiment! Listen, Karen. There's a way to reverse the curse. You have to get one of these cameras and use them as a laser to blast away the creature. Isis, I'm fixed. You did kill two people, though. Poppycock. This whole thing has made me realize that maybe the true enemy wasn't teenagers, it was capitalism. Uh, perfectly awake, perfectly lucid, don't need any medical attention whatsoever. You're talking to the wall. No, I'm not. <laughs> Roy Shields, MD. What seems to be the problem? Roy Shields? But you're a lawyer, and a crappy one at that. I mean, how would you even have time to go to medical school? Oh, I didn't. I have a Colombian medical degree. It pairs perfectly with my Colombian law degree. He's cheap. <coughs> so, so I don't really need to be here, um, because I'm not sick. Okay, get out of here. I'm still getting paid. See? He gets it! <coughs> oh my god, there is actually something wrong with you. Yep. You have a massive lump. What? With a lump of that size, I'm gonna give you a week to live. What? Hello, class. I'm Mr. Wizgoin. Mr. Wise Guy? That's a funny name. It's Wizgoin, not Wise Guy. And there's nothing funny about it, student egg. And get off your phone! You do know I have a name, right? Well, seeing how you can't even pronounce it, it doesn't even matter. I can pronounce my name. It's uh, it's ev 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 It's Avon. Why do I need to teach you how to pronounce your own name? You don't have to teach me. I know how to pronounce my own name. It's ev ev. Oh, forget about it. Welcome, welcome, class, to teenage preschool for teenagers who failed high school and have to restart preschool. You're really not doing well. <laughs> Today we are going to learn how to count triangles. But count I know how to count to 10. 1, 2, 5, 9, 1,222, 10. Nice try, Leroy, but that's not right. 
Aww. You, you failed preschool. Aww. Again. Does anyone else want to give it a go? Maybe you? Get off your phone! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, students. See? I didn't expect any of you dimwits to know how to do that. My name is Carlton Miyake, not student C, and I failed high school on purpose so that I could do this course. Why would you do that? My mom's dating <laughs> trillionaire sketchy, so it, I'll be well off if things go well. Okay, not sure what to say to that. So next we're going to learn how to read. Try to spell a simple word. All right, Laryl. You came in for this. You can do this. Kill my landlord. C-I-L-L. -L, kill my landlord. Kill? That's crazy. Yeah, I live in a trash can, and my landlord's a irritated sewer rat, so this is a little normal. This is no time for story, student B. Show Lord how it's done. Let's take it like D-A-S-T. I-C-U-L. What? A-T-E. That's not fair. He's an actual preschool. Can you change my diaper? No one cares about your diaper. The better question is, when is nap time? I'm starving. What does starving have to do with nap time? People go to bed when they're starving, duh. Why did I sign up to teach this class? Y'all are crazy. And we're back with more A Little Sketchy. But we won't always be back, will we? One day you'll never see A Little Sketchy again. Never see anything again. Everything ends. There's no escape. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. You're depressing the viewers. I can't help it. I'm chronic. My dreams will never be met. My life will never be lived. Well, think about it this way. If your dream is for people to see your television, that could still happen. Finding out about stuff posthumously is a thing. Take Tupac. After he died, he became even more popular. True, but he was like murdered. Very dramatic. I just died because of a lump. Well, you can do the murder. I have ten fully fleshed out ideas. What? No. Why do you have those ideas? And remember, viewers, life is pointless. You will die someday, so why even bother? <laughs> <laughs> Why even pick up? There's no point. It's Roy Shield. What? Yo, host, I've got some good news and some bad news. Give me the bad news first. Well, the iris is currently tracking me down. And the good news? You're not dying! Yes! It turns out that lump I found is actually something called the Adam's apple, and it's completely normal. Wow! Would you care to explain this? Roy, you're an even worse doctor than you are a lawyer, but oh my god, I'm so pumped up right now! Just I pumped up not. to close off another episode of... A Little Sketchy!